Welcome back, Seth Bling here, and tonight I'm going to be getting on a plane and flying to Washington DC for a week to go to Awesome Games Done Quick 2015, or EGDQ 2015. Uh, so that, so that's a, if you haven't heard of it, that's a week-long speedrunning marathon to benefit the Prevent Cancer Foundation, so it's a charity marathon, um, and that starts today, well it started today, a couple hours before I'm recording this. Um, and it goes, so it's January 4th, 2015, until January 10th, 2015, uh, which is Saturday. And, and there's just going to be basically non-stop back-to-back speedruns of all kinds of different games. You know, Super Nintendo, classic NES games, all the way up to, you know, PC games that are um, new. Uh, the first game of the marathon was Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So it's a totally wide variety of speedrun games. If you've never seen speedruns before, or other speedruns than mine, I guess, uh, definitely you want to check it out because there's some really interesting stuff. All the all the speedrunners have put hundreds of hours into their games, sometimes more. Um, so it's really cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be there for a week. I'm getting there tomorrow morning, Monday morning, and I'm gonna be staying for until the next Monday. So I'll be staying a couple days after the marathon. There's like a bonus stream. And I wanted to let you guys know when I'm going to be on stream, because I'm going to be on stream a few times. And I also wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm, what my packing list is. I'm in the process of packing for the flight. And so I, I ha next to me I have a big pile of, of stuff uh, that, I'm, that I'm, uh, I'm packing into my bags. Um, so first let me tell you when I'm going to be on stream. So the, the big thing for me is the Super Mario World speedrun. There's a race. Um, I'm not actually going to be racing. I'm going to be on the couch commentating on the race. Um, it's a it's a four way race, and there's four people going that are better than me at the game. So, uh, so they're all going to be racing. I'm going to be commentating on it, sort of explaining what's going on, which is probably better anyway because it's kind of stressful to have to practice for a speed run in the marathon. Although I have practiced a little bit, I have practiced a little bit just in case they need me to hop into the race because somebody can't make it or something. Um, so that is uh, Tuesday, January 6th at 9.55 p.m. Eastern Time. If it's on schedule, AGDQ always goes a little bit off schedule. But um, So Tuesday the 6th at 9.55 Eastern Time. Um, that's when the Super Mario World Race is. I'm really excited for that. That's what, that's what I've been doing in terms of speedrunning, you know. And that's why I'm, that's the main reason I'm going. Um, but I'm also going to be hosting the stream several times. Uh, basically just, uh, you know, talking about the events and the Prevent Cancer Foundation and reading out donations, that sort of stuff. So I have three slots, and the first slot is going to be uh, during some NES Zelda games, uh, specifically Z Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, and that's Tuesday the 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be hosting during some of the Mega Man games and Mega Man X uh, games, and that's Wednesday the 7th at 11.45 Eastern Time, p.m., 11.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and then I'm going to be hosting A Link to the Past and Majora's Mask on Friday the 9th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So those are all afternoon or evening, or I guess, well, Mega Man is pretty late night. <laughs> but uh, so I'm just going to be hosting during that. So if you want to hear my voice, I'm not going to be on screen, but uh, but my voice will be will be present, but um, otherwise you, you should watch the whole, th I mean, not the whole thing, because it's a week of 24 hour a day marathon, but you should you should watch a bunch of, of HEDQ. Uh, I have a link in the video description down below uh, if you need a link, but it's, it's yeah, so it's, it's over on Twitch. Um, so yeah, that's when I'm going to be on stream, but I also wanted to show you guys what I'm packing, and so I have a bunch of stuff next to me. I'll get to it one at a time. Uh, let's see. So first of all, of course, I'm bringing my Super Nintendo because I'll probably want to, you know, practice or play games or other people want to or maybe we'll do some races, that sort of stuff. Um, and my controller. It's it's uh, Most people bring their own controllers because it's the controller that you're comfortable with and you know how much give the buttons are going to have, that sort of stuff. And so I'm bringing my own controller. Um, some other stuff I'm bringing, bringing a Game Genie. Uh, for you know, cheating. But mostly, mostly I use the Game Genie for practicing Super Mario World runs. Um, and then this is—I don't know if you've seen this before. This is the Game Saver. Let's see, does it say it down here? 
Mackey Tech. I don't know if it says the word game saver on here. Anyway, this is a game saver. Basically, you plug in a cartridge here, and then you plug it into the console here, and um, and you can save state on an actual console. So that's something I use a lot for practice during speedruns. Um, I have a couple of uh, RC splitters and an RC to stereo jack. Uh, this is, I'm not sure what the audio setup is going to be there, uh, but this is basically so that, wait a minute, this is the wrong jack, the wrong kind of jack. I'll need, uh, I'll need some sort of converter, but basically I want to be able to um, have plug in my headphones to the console just in case I am, I do, ha just in case I am in the race because somebody else can't make it, and just in case there isn't a headphone going from the console. Yeah, I just don't know what their audio set is going to be like. Anyway, I'm going to bring it, just in case it's helpful. Um, of course, here I've got, um, let's see if I can show this. So I've got a box here. <laughs> uh, so we've got Super Mario World, the Japanese version, <clears throat> Super Mario World, the American version, which is, this is the one that I do my any percent runs on. And then, <clears throat> This is my um, SD2 SNES. This is, you can see there's a flash card in the or a SD uh, flash um, disc at the top, whatever you want to call it. And so this is my this is my cool device that has like every ROM ever on it. And it's got some ROM hacks too. Um, and then I'm I'm bringing my laptop because I do want to be able to make videos if I have the time for it. From from the convention, um, so this is a, U a Super Nintendo controller to USB converter, and it has two slots in it too. So, um, bringing that that's also just like helpful. I don't know, it's just helpful to have. Anyway, and then also in the box is a bunch of Magic cards. So I'm going to bring Magic cards. I know that some of the other people going are uh, play Magic. So this here, uh, can you all see it all? So this is actually um, the blue cards are all one deck. Of magic cards, it's uh, it's like, well, it's at least 250 cards. Uh, the format is called Prismatic. I don't know how many of you guys play Magic: The Gathering, but I've been playing for a long time since I was like seven, on and off. Um, so this is like a 250 card deck. Uh, there's no more than one of any single card, um, uh, and so it's just like here. I'll try and show you some of the cards. Uh, it's a lot. Hard, it's hard to do on on stream. Uh. But yeah, there's like Edder Crowways, there's Memory Jar, okay, there's a lot of glare here. But yeah, you can kind of see some of the cards. There's, so this is not an actual real tropical island here. Actually, let me, sh yeah, I want to show you guys this, this is kind of cool. Okay, so here we are, this is Tropical Island. Uh, you can't really tell because of, of the glare, but uh, it's actually a foil tropical island with a black border. And those of you who know your magic know that they never printed a foil tropical island. Yeah, you can kind of see the foil sheen. Yeah, there you go, like right there. So foil tropical island. Um, this is actually a proxy that I made myself by washing off the ink from a normal magic card and printing onto it. This is not something like uh, it would be illegal to sell this for sure. This is a counterfeit product, but I'm just using it for myself. Um, so it's a proxy because uh, off to the side, I do actually have the real cards, um, but you don't want to when you're searching for like an island. You don't want to look through a 250 card deck for for islands. So I actually have all the all of the dual lands here. It's, the glare is terrible. But you can see here. Here's all of the <laughs> all of the lands that you can search for from the deck. Here's a tundra on top, um, and then I have uh, proxy proxies of these cards within the deck, um, just in, so that you can also draw them. And those are all of the foil proxies that I printed up. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. That's something I've never really talked about very much, um, and it's um, this this deck is uh, is a collection that I'm really proud of, um, and all those uh, all those foil proxies are cool, and having all those dual lands, they're actually pretty expensive, uh, expensive cards. Anyway, uh, so that's my I'm bringing some Magic cards because I know some other people that are coming play Magic, and then the last thing um, that's Mario themed or whatever is the hat. Have to bring the hat huh, straight. Is it straight? I'm trying to straighten. There we go. So <laughs> anyway, that's sort of what I'm bringing to AGDQ uh, and some clothes and stuff. I guess maybe toothpaste. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so <clears throat> I'm really excited to be going. Never been to a 
Games Done Quick before. Uh, they have them twice a year. In January, it's Awesome Games Done Quick, and then during the summer, there's Summer Games Done Quick. So I'm excited to go to my first Games Done Quick marathon and participate, actually be a part of it. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Otherwise, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Um, I'm really excited. And, uh, yeah, the, I guess the last thing I'll mention is I, like, I was streaming yesterday. Some people asked if I was going to host a meetup um, in Washington, D.C., and I'll sort of leave that up to you guys. Um, basically, in the comments, tell me if you are in the Washington, D.C. area and you want to meet up. And if I see there's a ton of demand, then I'll set something up maybe while I'm out visiting um, some public area in Washington, D.C., you know, like visiting the Capitol or whatever. But um, it's sort of, I'll leave that up to you guys, it's just see how much demand there is for something like that. Um, otherwise, I'm all, I guess I'm also looking for suggestions for interesting things to do in Washington, D.C. I'm not that much of a museum goer, but if you know of something, um, something kind of cool that is not that well known, uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind suggestions. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm, I'm really excited, and I guess maybe I won't see you, but you'll see me at there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll see you at AGDQ. Thanks for watching.